Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Chris Eubank Jr. completely reverses the previous fight with Liam Smith. He totally dominates Smith. Uh, I didn't give Smith a single round. He knocks Smith down in the fourth round and eventually stops him in the tenth. And it was complete one-way traffic. My prediction for this fight was that Smith would win on points. And that's, that was my prediction for the first fight. Uh, I never would have believed that Smith wouldn't even win a round. I mean, he was stationary. His gloves were glued to the side of his head. Um, he's always been a slow starter. He moved forward looking for Eubank. Uh, but Eubank started quick. I mean, the jab was pumping and uh, he was controlling the range totally. Um, he was The jab, I mean, he was varying it body to head, head to body, um, varying the speed a little bit. And he was letting his right hand go. And he totally, from the word go, contained Smith, kept him in his box. And Smith just couldn't do anything. And the first three rounds, Smith, I mean, barely threw a punch, never mind landed one. Eubank, in the fourth round, knocked Smith over. Uh, he sort of sat him down. And Smith, from that point on, I think, was he had a problem with his right ankle, maybe, or his right knee, perhaps. I think it was ankle. But it, he just couldn't seem to set himself. He would fire occasional individual punches, usually right hands. Uh, his jab wasn't working properly. He said after the fight that he was completely flat. I think that's a very good way of putting it. But let's not take anything away from Eubank. He was sharp, razor sharp. And, you know, he just he just controlled the entire ring. I mean, ring generalship is what they call it. He put Smith wherever he wanted him. And Smith, even though for the first three rounds, well, you know, I mean, for, for, for sections of the rest of the fight as well, he was looking to move forward looking to try and get into range. He just couldn't do it, and he couldn't pull the trigger. And there was talk about, you know, myself included, talked about Eubank making the weight. Well, after 10 rounds, I mean, okay, he was boxing at his own pace, but he still looked fresh. And he must have made the weight very, very well, even though he wasn't forced to fight at a pace he didn't want to. Smith was the one who looked weight-drained, and afterwards he did comment on the weight. He said that he thought, you know, it was, it was a problem for him. He, he'd had an injury, he put on three stone. You know, OK, it, it sounds like he's making an excuse, but I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. I think it's more a case of him um, just, you know, trying to sort of, on, on the spur of the moment, surmise why he was beaten so easily. And I think it was the seventh or eighth round, he was battered from pill at the post. I think it was the seventh. Eubank put it on him. You know, heavy, heavy punches. The referee looked like he might step in, but Smith did enough to sort of keep the referee at bay. I think in the, was it the eighth or the ninth round, Smith picked up a bad sort of gash over the right eye. I think it might have been the ninth round. Uh, nothing went right for him in this fight. Absolutely nothing. And he just, it, you know, he was game. He was going to take his beating like a man. Um, but credit to Eubank. He totally turned it round. The crowd was booing him. Afterwards, there were a few cheers, which he deserves. He's a fighting man, Eubank. You know, I know he comes from a, quite a wealthy background because of his father. But this guy is a true fighter, as are the Smith brothers. I mean, Liam Smith, you know, he, he, took, his, he took his wallops like a man, like, like a fighter. Um, where does Eubank go from here? He actually said afterwards he wants Gennady Golovkin. Golov Golovkin must be, what is he now, 41 or something. But he's still got a couple of belts, which he's keeping hostage. I mean, I've, I've been a big fan of Golovkin in the past, but it seems to me like he, he hasn't fought since the Canelo fight, uh, the third one. Didn't look good in that, and I think he's come to the end of his career. It's possible those belts will go up in the air, and Eubank can fight for a vacant belt. But Eubank, has, apart from the IBO title, has never held you know a sort of recognised belt. So it, it would be a nice way for him to end his career. I think he's, he's nearly 34, or he is 34. He didn't look it. This was a good performance. But at the same time, Liam Smith looked very, very bad. Very, very bad. Um, the uppercuts, of course, were working for Eubank, as, as they always do. Uh, great body work as well by Eubank, especially the left hook to the body. Uh, but Smith took it. Smith was taking it. And you have to give him a lot of credit for what he did, Smith. He, he soaked up the punishment, but um, there was only one winner, and that was Chris Eubank Jr. I mean, a very, very good performance, especially in light of the first fight where he got knocked, knocked silly. Um, but, you know, he took his defeat like a man and so did Smith. But who's next? What's next for Liam Smith? Can he go again? He'll have to drop down a level. Um, 
I don't know what the issue with the, with the weight is. I don't know whether he's got another injury. The older you get, the easier it is to pick up injuries and the more difficult it becomes to shake them off. But for Eubank, um, this was this was his career best performance. Make no mistake about it. This was this was an impressive Chris Eubank Jr. Very impressive indeed. And you know, surprisingly so, I think. But anyway, what did you think of it? Obviously, it was on Sky. Um, Calais Sowland went even more mentally than he normally does uh, when Eubank won. Jumped into the ring. Calais did. Jumped all over Eubank. <laughs> but yeah. What do you think's next for Eubank? What do you think's next for Smith? What do you think of the fight? Why do you think Smith was so bad? Do you think that was down to Eubank's excellence or was, was Smith's poor performance? Um, you know, kind of lighting up Eubank and maybe making him look better than he was. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just asking questions here. You give your opinions. Um, thanks, as always, for your time. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. And I'll catch you later. Bye for now.